Metaverse is the tech world's next big thing. Tech companies like Meta are investing billions of dollars in Metaverse. After Facebook changed its name to Meta, there has been a lot of buzz around Metaverse these days. But what exactly is Metaverse? CEO Mark Zuckerberg recently made an announcement that he is changing his company's name to Meta Platforms Inc. or Meta for short. The 37-year-old founder of the social media giant had earlier spoken about how Facebook would effectively transition from people seeing us as a primarily being a social media company to being a metaverse company. So here is all you need to know about metaverse. The prefix meta comes from Greek and means beyond, after or across. So the portmanteau of meta and universe that is metaverse would connote a place that is beyond the world or the universe as we know it. One that exists in the virtual realm but feels just as real. The concept is nothing new. If you have seen a film like Matrix or Real Player One, you will easily know what it entails. A virtual reality space that people can enter and access through the use of a gadget or a device. Back in October last year, when Mark Zuckerberg first unveiled his plan for the metaverse, he was quite specific about going beyond the social media experience of today and seamlessly incorporating VR and AR into its own apps and service. It was to build this vision that the company announced that it would hire 10,000 engineers to work towards building this digital space. The company's vision of Metaverse The Metaverse is the next evolution of social connection. Our company's vision is to help bring the Metaverse to life. We are changing our name to reflect our commitment to this future. What will we be able to do in Metaverse? It is a concept that involves an online world where people can interact with others, collaborate and communicate virtually without needing to be in the same space. The potential, although, of virtual reality is immense, especially from a business point of view. How about being able to do a full tryout of the dress you have found online before placing an order, or hopping into the car you want to take for a test ride sitting in your drawing room? The metaverse also could be a game changer for the work from home shift amid the coronavirus pandemic. Instead of seeing co-workers on a video call grid, employees could join them in a virtual office. Facebook has launched meeting software for companies called Horizon Workrooms to use its Oculus VR headsets. The early reviews have not been great. The headset costs around $300 or more, putting the metaverse's most cutting-edge experiences out of reach for many. For those who can afford it, users would be able, through the avatars, to flip between virtual worlds created different companies. Does Meta have any cryptocurrency? It follows a first attempt by Meta at a cryptocurrency project, the Yam that ultimately failed due to a major regulatory pushback and questions around Meta's reputation. It was a type of stable coin, a cryptocurrency which had its value attached to the performance of a conventional currency, such as the pound sterling. This meant it could avoid major fluctuations in value, while still maintaining the privacy and instant payments due to a reserve of fiat currency equivalent to the amount of DM in circulation. Why would Meta avoid basing its new currency on the blockchain? If, as reported, Meta avoids using blockchain technology for this new token, then it is likely that it can maintain complete control of its platform and keep its users' information private. Meta will want to have complete autonomy over its platform and most importantly user data. They will unlikely to want to be constricted by the requirements of current blockchain technology, such as making all transactions publicly available which are facilitated using Meta's digital token. As a technology company, Meta will own that user data is the most important asset they have and to openly share exactly what users are buying quantities of product purchase the type of product purchase 
frequency of purchases and the time of purchases could be determined. Giving away access to such information for free could hand competitors a serious advantage when creating their own metaverses, selling digital products or onboarding users to their platforms, detracting for Meta's potential long-term profitability and growth in the space. Mark Zuckerberg is betting his company's future on the metaverse, a virtual space in which people interacted with each other using avatars and AR VR technology, investing tens of billions of dollars to build the platforms and hardware that capture a new generation of users. Now the question is whether Zuckerberg's gamble on the metaverse being the future of the internet and his company will succeed. Now we will see what is the future of the metaverse. That is all for today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.